Hi, my name is Tom Graham, and welcome to Being Heard. I am committed that every voice is heard, including my own. Today, I'm here with Paula Finney, and welcome, Paula. Thank you, Tom. I am, I'm really glad to be here, and I'm, I look forward to diving into the seven Ps. Yeah. Um, well, how about we get a little background about you, if you don't mind, just share what you're up to and things like that, and then we'll get right into the first P. What am I up to is learning more about myself, having more growth, um, promoting myself as well, uh, learning to promote myself business-wise. Mm -hmm. my business as far as uh, working with clients coaching as a transformational coach um, mm -hmm. and teaching the art of unconditional love awesome great and like I said I'm, I'm grateful to have you here so thank you um, the first P is passion and how do you take actions to increase your passion? I don't feel like I necessarily have to consciously go actively do something to create passion. I feel like the passion creates my actions. Okay. It's like, I feel like when I'm in that, being in the, the passion, I, I allow myself to be, to be guided. Yep. And what feels amazing and awesome in that moment with that passion. Yep. So then I the the what I was looking at, it was like, how do you start and find new stuff? Like how do you let's pretend um you find something new, like you wanna create mm, new passion for orienteering where you go read a map or you're geocaching where you go out in the woods and you find stuff and it's like, maybe that's not the right way to ask the question, but it's like, do you, do you look for new stuff to increase your passion? Maybe I didn't hear you right. I don't necessarily go look for things. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm always guided to new things that oh, I get give it that gives me the passion. Like for instance, a perfect example will be, uh, I dove into, I, I was led to of my very first uh, sound bowl session uh, probably a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I fell in love with it. And the couple that facilitated it within 30 days, they, their household and they moved to Florida. And I had heard there was a, another place in Sartell and eventually decided, let me go check it out, you know? And i have been going <laughs> ever since. And then what happened? That became my passion, passion in the effect of I bought sing, my own singing bowl so that I could be a facilitator because I want individuals to be able to experience that the sound of the bowls and that peace and just that energy of that brings an individual to uh, a higher vibration. And then, so then from there, I'm, I'm always speaking to the universe. I know there's more, there's okay. more. Okay. So then now my next passion along with my singing bowls too is so my breath work mm -hmm. that is a passion of mine to the point now I'm thinking I feel like I'm so passionate about it that I may eventually decide to become a certified facilitator of the summer bus work cool that's great ah, thank you the next question is perseverance and this question is, what is worth so much that you'd push through anything to have? My peace, my inner peace, 
my the love that I have for myself first and then others. Um, if you'd have asked me that, I want to say maybe five years ago, I don't think I would have given that same answer. Mm -hmm. But that that right there is, yeah, inner peace and, and unconditional love for myself, which spills out to others. Right. I get it. The next one is perspective. And I need to silence my phone. <laughs> I did not realize that I did not have the do not disturb on. That happens. <laughs> it did. It just did. Do not disturb is on. That should be quiet now. <laughs> um, I think I was on perspective. Yes. So would shifting your perspective change your level of joy in the moment? Mm, can you clarify that a little bit? So shifting my perspective. Yep. Would shifting your perspective or how you see things change your level of joy in the moment? It, it probably, well, I think it would depend. Um, I, if I give it the attention that, uh, that I don't need to, if it's something unpleasant, mm -hmm. um, however, I don't find that now that it takes away my joy because it's going to be the perspective or belief that I'm going to give it. And I tend to choose to look at the positive aspect of it. Or I look that, at that as an opportunity to ask myself if I'm not feeling the best with it, why? Sure. And focus on, well, I do, I, that shouldn't have a factor in my joy though. Okay. At least for me. I mean, if I'm going to be in a place of joy, it's because I'm really happy within me. And maybe it could for a little bit, but I'm going to choose to be in that place of joy because I can still shift that. I can still change whatever occurred by my own view. Yeah. And again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just, mm -hmm. it's what's there. And so thank you for revealing what is there and, and just sharing so generously. Um, the next word is priorities. And so this one is, are your priorities setting you up for success in creating more joy? I would say yes. Because again, it priority as for peace and love and just um, yeah, peace and love. That that is that is a priority for me. My happiness is my priority. Mm -hmm. It wasn't at one time, it mm -hmm. where I thought it was, but it was more allowing, looking at it from the at the outside instead of within me. So I absolutely keep that as a priority. Cool. The next one is called purpose and purpose is your ladder up against the right wall. Ladder up against the right wall. Yeah. So it's like, is your ladder up against the right wall? So there's this, this idea that make sure your ladder's up against the, the, the in alignment. Mm. Purpose. 
I would say it is. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, because I feel if it wasn't, I don't feel I would be in a place of peace. Yeah, and so then if it's up against the right wall, what are you building with it? Oh, I'm saying, I would say a limitless amount of freedom, a limitless amount of joy, a limitless amount of friendships. Um, I feel like since the ladder has been up the right wall, I've been connecting with many um, beautiful and amazing individuals from all over the world, whether it be colleagues, uh, clients, mentors. Uh, I, I feel like it's just such a win-win. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. And the next one is patience. And so patience is, are there areas where you don't have patience? I would say it's a, I would have to say a yes, but yes. And also in not too many areas though, at yeah. one time in my life, there was a lot of things I was impatient with, but yes. Um, the one thing that I'm not patient with at the moment is, I would say, being financially in the um, bracket or stability that I would desire at this time in my life. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't stress over it, though. Um, it's one thing I, I've realized. And it's just allowing things to flow. The follow-up question was, if you see a pattern at all, mm -hmm. you know, if, 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 if there is any pattern. Mm -hmm. I, rec I think I recognize some patterns in there, you know, or a pattern. Mm -hmm. And it's one that, I feel I'm dismantling some of the walls or I don't even if I want to say walls is the word, but dismantling the pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I do recognize it. And I have to say, because I do recognize it, I'm very proud of myself for that and not being angry at myself. I'm actually not. It's just like, okay. I think this is one of the reasons I'm doing the breath work and um allowing myself to move it to move that energy and yeah cool now the next p is prayer and do you use prayer for what you're proud of what you're grateful for what you desire and what you love about yourself I would say I use prayer and thankfulness, prayer for gratitude uh, more than I do as a prayer uh, to being proud of myself. Uh, I think that's, well, that for me, it falls in the bracket of thankfulness. Mm. Um, I'm thankful that I allowed myself to have the opportunity or oh, yeah, that I allowed myself the opportunity to grow, the opportunity to love, the opportunity to, to truly be who I am. And when it comes from de for desires, that is a place where I come from thankfulness as well, because I believe that gratitude, it is the art of receivership as that's, it's a Joe Dispenza, quote that I absolutely love yeah um, gratitude is the art of receivership and so when I pray if it's if, I'm, if if it's about a desire I'm going to pray I usually will pray in thankfulness for already having received it that um, instead of praying for it to have it because 
because I, I I teach manifestations as well. Well, because we were doing it all the time. So I like coming from it already being here and now versus having to try to attract it and to, because I'm still saying it's not here. Got it. So if you don't mind, will you, will you share one thing that you're proud of? One thing that you're grateful for? Yeah. One thing that, and, and we can go one at a time. And so first one's proud. I would say I am proud. I am proud of myself for letting go of my limitations and to allow myself to just be who I am, to shine and be unapologetically bold to usually express and just be me, just be me. And yeah. Awesome. And grateful for. I am grateful. I would say this, I'm grateful to all my mentors. I am grateful to my clients because they're also teachers to me. Mm -hmm. I am grateful to my colleagues because they're also teachers to me and they're also, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that we're all just one. I'm, I'm truly grateful for having learned how much I do love myself. And I'm grateful for the peace that and love that I have chosen. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned a little bit before, but what do you desire? Ooh. <laughs> I desire. So just one. I guess maybe is it just what do I desire for myself or what do I desire as a whole or or is it just what does it matter you know I don't have an answer for that I'll just I'll request one okay you you can choose if you want it for the world you can choose if you want it for you okay I just want to make sure okay I don't have it a certain way okay <laughs> I would say I I know what I desire. I desire for every single individual, every soul to truly remember who they are, to be able to experience that emotion and bliss of love, to know that we are here to just enjoy life period that's what i desire I, I i i want i want everyone to experience that experience what i've experienced i mean it's just the biggest gift we give ourselves wonderful so then what is one thing you love about yourself I love that I'm love. And I love that my energy can help shift someone in that aspect as well. Awesome. So then what would you like to be acknowledged for? We got through all seven questions and I would like to acknowledge you if I may. Okay, cool. What would I like to be acknowledged for? Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of water. Sure. I would like... Um, to be acknowledged as an individual who 
overcame so much and allowed herself to be seen and to be heard. And in return, was able to impact those that she's connected with. Cool. Mm -hmm. Paula, <clears throat> I acknowledge you for, for who you are in the world to those people who you share yourself with through all the things that you've overcome and who you are today and your commitment to everybody being related to their authentic self. And it's, it, it's wonderful. So thank you for who you are. Thank you. Yeah, and I wanted to acknowledge you as well. Okay. Because you, I wanted to acknowledge you for your kindness, for your listening, for offering um, support, and for the love that you've actually been sharing with all of us who have connected with you. I receive that. And for creating this space of the seven Ps. I like that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>